This is Lola Lee T. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Portia's Family Matters, episode six, recap and review. The episode begins and people are arguing. We see fists flying. Portia lunges at Dennis's mama. He then got between Portia and his mama. Portia swung on him. Dennis is held back. I can't remember who holds him back. It's just mayhem and chaos. Storm and Darlene join in. It looks like they swing on Dennis. Lauren also swings on Dennis. It's Dennis and his mama against the world. Oh my God. Security is trying to break it up. Portia starts screaming and throwing stuff at Dennis and asking for his mama. At that point, she reminds me of the Hulk. She starts reaching for whatever that's around her to throw. She throws microphones and then she breaks down crying. Simon pulls her away to the couch. While crying, Portia demands that Dennis be arrested. Can you imagine that? She wants Dennis arrested. Okay. In a green room interview, Portia says she just got upset because she had to relive the trauma of Dennis cheating on her while she was pregnant. But what she should have said was, I'm still in love with Dennis. When he brought another girl on the trip, it triggered me. I'm really angry that being with Simon is not making Dennis jealous. So producers inform the viewers that Dennis, Miss Gina, and Dennis's female guests left and are headed to Cancun. And producers also learn that Portia texted all of her family members telling them to not discuss what happened on camera. I also wonder who informed the producers about this. Also, why didn't the producers take the opportunity to have a green screen interview with Dennis's guests? Because I'm sure many of us want to know who she is. The producers really exposed Portia during this episode because strangely, the producers show a green screen interview of Portia saying that her family isn't saying anything because they like to sweep everything under the rug. <laughs> Little does Portia know that one of her family members or maybe more of her family members, allegedly, of course, I don't know. They had already went to production and told them that they had been silenced. I don't know, guys. What was Portia trying to do here? I mean, she is on a reality TV show. And of course, the producers are going to want to talk about this. The next day, Portia and her family are doing spiritual activities, acting like the altercation never happened. And I'm actually surprised that Lauren, Portia's sister, went along with the charade because she seemed so serious about the spiritual retreat. Everyone else around Portia, excluding her Aunt Liz and Lundy, I think are pretty much yes people. It was so hilarious that a production person stepped in and called them all out for this. But Portia was so rude to production and she asked if the scene was over. <laughs> she pretty much refused to allow the topic to continue or to be discussed. She was done with that scene. So the family comes together for one last dinner in Mexico. Aunt Liz says it's sad what happened because she felt Portia and Dennis were so close to a breakthrough but it wasn't okay for people to bring up that Dennis had cheated, meaning Dom. She felt that what happened needs to stay in the past because they put Dennis in a position where he felt like he needed to defend himself. 
And he also felt like his mom was being attacked and she was actually being attacked, in my opinion. Portia says she was just really triggered when his cheating came up. But I've noticed that Portia gets triggered a lot. She was triggered by Kenya on that reunion show. She dragged her by her hair all over the stage. She was also triggered by Cynthia. And then Cynthia had to defend herself by kicking her in the stomach. I don't know, guys. Maybe Candy is right. Portia only did anger management for the sake of the show, but she didn't really do any anger management for outside of the show. What do you guys think about that? But Portia did apologize for getting stuck in the past and not being able to focus on the future. And she breaks down crying. After the family returns from the trip, Portia goes to her mama's house to update her on all the drama that happened in Mexico. So <laughs> Portia's recap of what happened in Mexico between her and Dennis sort of reminded me of when, you know, you're in high school, you got into a fight with someone, maybe the fight was physical, you know you're going to get in big trouble, you know it's serious. And you know the principal is going to be calling your parents. So what do you do? You go to your mama and you give her your side of the story before the principal calls. This is what Portia's recap to her mama sounded like to me. So Portia tells her mama, Dennis invited another woman to make her jealous. Then Dom brought up the fact that Dennis cheated while she was pregnant. So she got upset. Storm had her back and Dennis told Storm to shut the F up. B producers did a flashback to show what really happened. They showed Dennis telling Storm to shut the F up, bro. Dennis never called Stormy the B word. And to me, this is so interesting how the producers are putting Portia on blast. I'm just wondering if they're fed up with Portia or something is going on in the background here because they did her dirty by showing what really happened here because they basically made her look like a liar, like a blatant liar. Anyway, Portia says she got really mad after Dennis clapped back at Storm. She says while they were arguing, Dennis grabbed her like he thought she was about to attack Miss Gina. So all hell broke loose and she kind of blacked out. When Portia said to her mom that she blacked out, I thought to myself that this was so funny because if she blacked out, why was she texting people to not talk about what happened? When you black out, you don't even remember what happened. So I'm sure she remembers what happened. And in my opinion, it just seems to me like she was trying to control the narrative by silencing her family. In a green screen interview, Portia says she shouldn't have responded the way she did. And she's taking responsibility for her actions. Portia and Cutie Pie PJ visit Aunt Liz at the new Hosea Williams facility. They discuss the drama. At least Aunt Liz seems to be a voice of reason. And she seems to be the opposite of Portia's mama because she's actually holding Portia accountable. Aunt Liz says that Portia needs to think of her daughter because Portia doesn't want PJ to grow up seeing Portia doing things like this. Portia has to think about her legacy. She doesn't need to let her friends instigate drama in her life. In Aunt Liz's opinion, she doesn't think that Portia is ready to carry on her grandfather's legacy quite yet. And I agree with that a thousand percent. And I don't know if Portia's friends are necessarily instigating drama in her life. I would say that her friends are yes people. These people are looking to Portia for a paycheck. So they may not want to upset her or even tell her the truth 
when she's in the wrong. I think they're going to do whatever they can to make her think that they are 100% loyal to her and her alone. And when it comes to Portia's image as an activist, Portia doesn't think she needs to do any damage control because families fight and she doesn't want to be placed in a box. And in my opinion, yes, families fight, but not all families get physical. Getting physical is not okay. And she seems to be sweeping this under the rug somehow, making it seem normal. It is not normal. And I, and I wonder when she was in a relationship with Dennis, did some of these arguments, fights get physical? Well, if the answer is yes, well, Simon, good luck. In a green screen interview, Dennis says that Portia lunged at Miss Gina. And yeah, she sure did. He said that he got in between them and Portia swung on him, even though Miss Gina feels like she was really disrespected. Dennis says that Portia is still his family. They have to work things out. And as for Miss Gina, she thinks Portia is in love with Dennis. I agree with Miss Gina 100%. I think it's blatantly clear, blatantly obvious. If Portia still didn't have feelings for him, she wouldn't have cared if he brought six women with him to Mexico. The fact that Portia feels that Dennis disrespected her by bringing a plus one while she has a whole fiance is just weird. Also, her hanging on to his things is another indication that she's not over him. In my opinion, Portia is still playing little childish high school games. Portia finally decides to part with Dennis's stuff, which is in her basement. Portia and her assistant Lauren go down to the basement to find the belongings. And from the looks of Portia's basement, I would say that Portia is definitely an undercover hoarder. I know because my basement looks like that and I'm a hoarder. But Dennis says he actually left much more than that out of her place, like a couch and an entertainment center and stuff like that. At the end of the episode, Dennis comes to the door to drop off PJ and Portia wants him to come inside and talk. So watching this episode kind of reminded me of the incident between Monique and Candace. Monique was not allowed to get away with her behavior. But yet Portia has been in two physical confrontations. One with Kenya, where I mentioned before, she dragged her by her hair across the stage. And then there was the other with Cynthia, where Cynthia felt the need to defend herself by kicking Portia in her stomach. Do you guys remember that scene? And I still feel like Bravo really didn't address it or take Portia's behavior seriously. And now she is literally picking up microphones and throwing them at people. I mean, what if someone had gotten seriously hurt? I mean, what I saw on last night's show was pure violence. I mean, this is crazy. And as for Simon, that seemed to sort of play things down. I want to know, Simon, Simon, how are you not embarrassed that your fiance was fighting her baby daddy because she was jealous that he invited another woman to Mexico. That's what I want to know. So those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts on this episode? Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Just search for Lola Liti. Bye. Love you guys.